Dude, it's appreciated, buddy. Hey, some fashion statements dazzle and impress, and uh, some don't. Some don't. Courtney Dempsey joins us now with some recent fashion fails. All right, Hal, get the fail stamp ready, because these are some doozies, okay? Uh, first of all, Ken, Bethany, huh? yes. Christine, yeah. Yeah. sometimes it's nice to be fashionable, and sometimes it's nice to be functional, but no, sometimes it's true. you can't be both. Uh, oh, what? Oh. An Instagram nail artist created these nails that double as ink. Pins. No. No. Nope. Like to write stuff. No. Nope. The nope. nails are basically false nails adorned with tiny gems and a pin. That is so weird. <laughs> While the nail designs themselves aren't bad, I just have a little problem with having ink literally at my fingertips. Like yeah, that, you're like going to your scratch shirts your are eye. all jacked up, right? My right. eye is itching. Whoop, there goes well, that. Right? How yeah. Is there a video of her writing a check to me? Well, I'm saying, yeah. imagine yourself going to scratch your face and you end up with these squiggly lines or, all over your face. Going out to the But she's creating on trend. artwork. Right? It could be on trend because the squiggly, you... the eyebrows I mean, was the thing. Oh, yeah, right. But I say, uh, fail it! Yep. Yeah. Fail you can so yeah. say we all. But they were So great. say we all. <laughs> They'll say we all. Okay, well, let me give you this one. This is crazy. This is crazy. Six women recently went to a wedding. They all committed a cardinal sin and showed up wearing the exact same dress, and they were not. The bridesmaids. Say what now? Come on. This is crazy. There's no, no way this is they, true. I know. I can't believe it. They all turned up in this $150 lace dress sold by Portman's uh, and uh, Forever. Brand new. Unfortunately, or fortunately, rather, the bride wasn't... Uh, the bride wasn't actually mad. She was actually found it hilarious, which is why she took this picture here. Uh, <laughs> there were a few dirty looks coming from the girls at the same time because they all had on the same dress, but then after they realized how ridiculous it was, they decided to just laugh it off. I still, however, um, consider it a fashion fail. How, I, I just, what, yeah. Somebody got to go home. Yeah, they didn't yeah. talk to each other and buy this dress together. Well, they, don't they don't know each other. Oh, they don't know don't each other. Know. I oh, they didn't know each other. Dress, no. They need to go buy a, a lottery ticket because that's right. <laughs> no, that's weird. Crazy. The chances that of that weird. happening or cage totally match. Weird. Okay, here's this next one. Now, remember a while ago we told you about those uh, fishnet stockings that made you look like a mermaid? Yes. I love those. Okay, keep that in. Keep that in mind. <laughs> yes. Okay? File this next piece of clothing under the what were they thinking category. I give you the extreme long line t-shirt in mesh, hmm. otherwise known as the mesh dress. What? I'm sorry, what? Hmm. I'm sorry, yeah. wait a minute, what? It's, hmm. it's a dress, basically, hmm. what it seems like. It's a long dress, dress like t-shirt, mm -hmm. with an O of featuring uh, that open mesh detail. And I guess if you have abs and you want to show off all your hard work over the summer. And you don't want to get mosquito bites. Right, exactly, mm -hmm. you don't want to get mosquito bites. Yeah, yeah. You wear something like this, but Maybe extreme confidence would have to be quality cover. in order to rock this uh, human fishnet. Yeah, I think a woman could dress. rock it easily, right? With well, the I'm confused. Suit I don't whoa, understand. Whoa, whoa, what, what is he purpose? doing? What is this about? I don't know. I don't, I don't He's just know. showing off his back. What do you want? What I do know is strutting. Fail it, Hal! Yeah, I give it a stamp. <laughs> oh, funk. Davy Hal. Back there. What is the perk? <laughs> Davy Hal. Da Hal, exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, finally, it's common for fathers to develop a little pouch just above their waistline, hence oh. the term dad bod. Uh, there's a company who is actually oh, capitalizing about. on the dad bod with a fancy new pack. It's a fanny pack that gives you said dad bod. <laughs> this is kind of funny. What? This is kind of funny. I it's a, oh my God. <laughs> it's a little rotund pouch that perfectly mimics, mimics a pouch yes, it's, uh, right uh, above the belly that goes it <laughs> with looks the real. hair and the belly button all in the backpack. This is crazy. It's functional. Yeah, nobody uh, wants to Wearers see could store all sorts of things in the dad bag. And while the bag is not yet in production, the idea is out there. And I'm sure it's only a matter of time before that some big so name real. producer comes calling. Yeah, that's disgusting. For the dad bod fan. Hmm. All righty then. Yeah. Fail it, Hal. Yeah. I don't think we want it's to see that. It's a little too realistic for me. I think the hair, yeah. Yeah. it bothers me a little bit. Yeah. Right? See, the belly button. A little, much. A little belly mm. button. That's going to be uh, on the hot Christmas list at Nordstrom. You think so? I mean, no. they, they sold out of the rocks that hung as the little Christmas list. Ken, would you wear one? I'm working on my organic one. <laughs> right? I'm working on my own all natural. Hey. No one needs help. I don't need any help. Right? I'm halfway there. <laughs> Give me till Christmas. I'll be ready. You'll have it. Yeah, You'll have exactly. it. Exactly. Thanks, friends.